Measuring delta H of reaction in a coffee cup calorimeter. Magnesium metal reacts with hydrochloric acid according to the following balanced equation. Mg solid plus 2HCl aqueous yields MgCl2 aqueous plus H2 gaseous. In an experiment to determine the enthalpy change for this reaction, 0.158 gram of magnesium metal is combined with enough HCl to make 100.0 milliliters of solution in a coffee cup calorimeter. The HCl is sufficiently concentrated so that the Mg completely reacts. The temperature of the solution rises from 25.6 degrees C to 32.8 degrees C as a result of the reaction. Find delta H reaction for the reaction as written. Use 1.00 gram per milliliter as the density of the solution and the heat capacity of the solution equals 4.18 joule gram degree C as the specific heat capacity of the solution. So we're given that 0 0.158 gram of magnesium react with enough HCl to make 100 Point zero milliliters of solution. This solution has a density that is equal to one point zero zero grams per milliliter and has a heat capacity. That is 4.18 joule per gram degree C. During the course of this reaction, the temperature starts out initially at 25.6 degrees C and winds up at a final temperature of 32.8 degrees C. And we want to find the enthalpy change delta H for this reaction. In our conceptual plan we're going to need the mass of the solution, the heat capacity of the solution, and the temperature change to give us the heat that is absorbed by the solution. So the relationship that we're using is Q, the heat absorbed, will be equal to the mass of the solution times the heat capacity of the solution times the temperature change. Because of the law of conservation of, of energy, the amount of heat that is absorbed by the solution is equal to the amount of heat that is given off in the reaction. So the absolute values are equal. However, because the solution is absorbing a positive quantity and the reaction is releasing a negative quantity of heat, these are equal and opposite. So Q of reaction will be equal to negative Q of the solution. In our final step, we'll calculate the enthalpy of reaction by taking the heat given off by the reaction calculated in the previous step and dividing by the moles of magnesium. 
In order to do that, we need the molar mass. of magnesium and that is 24.31 grams per mole. The first thing we'll do is determine the mass of the solution. We know that we have 100.0 milliliters of solution and we are given that the density is one gram per milliliter. So the milliliters cancel. And we have 100 or 1 times 10 squared grams of solution. We need temperature change, which is our final temperature minus our initial temperature, and that is 32.8 degrees C minus 25.6 degrees C for a temperature change of 7.2 degrees C. So Q of the solution is equal to the mass of the solution times the heat capacity of the solution times the change in temperature. This equals 1.00 times 10 squared grams times 4.18 joule per gram degree C times 7.2 degrees C. So our temperature cancels, our grams cancel, and we arrive at an amount of heat absorbed by the solution that is 3.0 times 10 to the third joules. We know that Q of the reaction is equal and opposite to Q of the solution and so that's negative. 3.0 times 10 to the third joules. Finally, our enthalpy of reaction, we'll find by taking that value, Q of the reaction, and dividing by the moles of magnesium. So 
So this equals negative 3.0 times 10 to the third joules. But we don't have moles currently. We have 0 0.158 grams of magnesium, which we can convert to moles by using its molar mass. That is one mole of magnesium has a mass of 24.31 grams of magnesium. So the grams of magnesium cancel and we have our final answer which is that the enthalpy of the reaction is equal to negative 4.6 times 10 to the fifth joules per mole of magnesium. Now if we look at the balanced equation, we see that the stoichiometric coefficient in front of the magnesium is 1, so that the value that we have calculated or the enthalpy of reaction per mole of magnesium is the same as the value for the reaction as written. Checking our answer, we have an answer in joules, which is correct for an enthalpy change. And the sign is a negative, which is also correct because this is an exothermic reaction.